Hi there, this is XG Interactive and you're watching a quick how-to video on how to implement an on-screen joystick for mobile devices using Unity's new input system. So we are starting out with an empty 3D project and uh, first of all what we are gonna do is change the build settings to Android because we have to test our system for Android devices and also we're gonna set up the unity remote for the same reason and further we have to install the required package it is called input manager for all of this to work now that everything is set up all we need to do is uh, create an image this will act as our stick first we need to uh, place it in a, a convenient place on the screen for the user to grab it now we can add a script called on screen stick and we can uh, emulate the uh, left stick with this script this script is included in the input system package now if we hit play we can see that it is working perfectly i'm trailing it using an android device by the way and now what's our next step let's add a player game object in our game and control the player game object using the, the stick that we just built let's add a cube then and position the cube right in front of the camera now we need to have a uh, a script in order to control our player cube right so we create a C sharp script and let it have its default name and now we also need to have the input system itself input actions and we are letting it have the default name as well Now, I'm not explaining how this new input action mapping system works because there are plenty of videos out there on this subject. Now, uh, we do have a new action here. Uh, we'll, we're going to call it move, right? So, this is move. This is, this is going to be a vector2 value. And we're going to feed the vector2 with our joystick that we are emulating from the left stick of gamepad just like that our system is complete now and we're gonna generate a c-sharp class for that and also so that we can have a reference to the class and get the inputs from that class back to our new behavior script so we have the new behavior script right here first of all we will need the uh, reference to the uh, the input system right it is called the new controls we need a variable to store our input value values in we need to uh, create the construct the class input actions and then we need to enable the class that's it and after that we can have our callbacks right here this is explained in detail in multiple videos from bigger youtubers um, you can watch those videos if you want to have a deeper understanding or you can even uh, comment down below uh, if you want it from me so we are having a callback here and um, using an inline function or you can call it a um, lambda function right so we are we are right away uh, storing our input data into move direction variable when that is done we are going to have an update function 
where we uh, move things according to uh, the move direction we receive of, of course using the time dot delta time as uh, the multiplier uh, in order to get rid of frame rate dependencies duplicating this line and when the uh, user stops uh, giving the input the vector two point dot zero should be stored in move direction right now we're gonna test this thing and see if it works oh we forgot to apply the script on the cube now that we applied it, it should work now yeah it is working as expected this is being controlled using unity remote now let's have some you know nice little uh, sprites in order for our joystick to look more like a joystick all right so I have created a, a joystick design and let's use that one it is actually free to use and you can get it from the link in the description I'm setting it as sprite apply now we can just slap that onto the image here we have different pieces of the joystick uh, let's just scale this up and <coughs> position it right there and we're good to go see it's looking now nice now so this sprite will be available in the link in the description you can have it from there and this is how you can set up a joystick on screen joystick using the new input system it is really easy and really simple the new input system just lets you do it effortlessly thanks for watching this video and please let me know in the comment down below if you liked this video or not or ways i can improve on my quality of my videos or you can also suggest the topics for the upcoming videos.